All right, everybody. CX here. So in the middle of training, Pikachu has finally shown up. So maybe we can actually catch him. Hopefully Tackle won't kill it. We're about to find out. Nope. Oh, five Pokeballs. Hopefully that at least one of them will work. Alright, caught in the first ball. So, the mission to catch Pikachu has finally been accomplished. I'm just a little surprised it took this long. I mean, I knew it was rare, but geez. Oh well, I'll see you in just another minute for a proper introduction into the new part. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Now, I've officially gotten everybody all trained up now. Oops, wrong button. On draw level 12 now, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take on the first gym. And I have a game plan. There's, first, there's only going to be one trainer before the gym leader Brock. And he has a Diglett and the Sancher. So I'm going to have Pidgey fight the Diglett and Nidoran Male fight the Sancher. Sancher is more defense, but Nidoran Male has a stronger physical attack. Hiya, I can tell you how what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer. I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, let's get happening. First Pokemon out of the match is at the top of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon matches could be made easier. Really? You really think I wouldn't have figured this out by now? Oh well, let's get into this. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. I'd say the joke, but he's going to fill us in on it when he's when we're done battling him anyway, so. Alright. So let's see if this works here. Unfortunately he's faster, but I think this will be a lot stronger. Oh yes! Critical hit! I approve very much. Let's finish him with a quick attack then. Which Pidgey has just recently learned. Alright, I'd say that worked reasonably well. It's time to beat up the Sandshrew. I think the... no. Well, actually, yeah, I think the first version exclusive found in this game. And although it's not found in the wild right now, um, still. I mean, you'll be able to find Sandshrew in blue version later on in the wild. I was talking about first appearance of one at all, and darn it, he got a critical hit. The horn attack is doing its job pretty well. I think we're doing about the same to each other. Oh, sweet critical. And he's down. Yeah, light years is in time to measure distance, so... Alright, now I'll fight the first gym leader, Brock. Um, I'm going to start off with Squirtle. And try Butterfree for his second Pokemon. And we'll see how this strategy goes. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. I remember first hearing this music and being like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then I think my next question was, why the heck does he not have a shirt on? <laughs> so, yeah. Thankfully, I know Bubble, so this should go pretty well. Oh, yeah. Eight times damage. That was brutal. One hit knockout. So that only leaves his Onyx left. So Butterfree's going to come in now. As long as it doesn't use Rock Throw, I should be okay. We'll see. Oh, darn, it is fast. Ouch. Actually, that being critical hits, not good. We're just swamping in critical hits today. One more ought to do it. Yeah, he's down. You can suck in the damage all you want, but if you faint, it's not going to do you any good. 
Oh, that was actually pretty easy. I took you for granted. That's proof of your victory. Here's the boulder badge. Yay. That's an official Pokemon League badge. Its bearers become more powerful. Which I don't even think... I don't think that's actually been proved. The technique Flash can now be used at any time. Oh, and here's money. <laughs> Wait, take this with you. And now we get TM34, which contains Bide, I believe. And TMs are only good once. Thankfully, they finally changed that in 5th generation. I am so happy about that. So, you absorb damage and then pay it back double, but you also have to not faint. See if he says anything else important. There are all kinds of trainers in the world. I'm gifted because I know how to use a Butterfree and a Squirtle, apparently. Go to Cerulean. Alright. Yeah. Nothing more to say. Well, that was actually really fast. So, yay. So I'm gonna head back and heal real, heal real fast. I swear I need to start bringing a cup of water with me when I do these, because my throat dries out really fast, and that just makes my talking worse. Anyway. Now that that is over with, um, we'll change the order back. And we will continue on in our journey to become Pokemon Master. So, I put in an annotation in the last video that I have made progress in RNG and that I would explain it. So, it's time to start explaining while I go fight some trainers. Um, I did. I was aiming to try to catch... A Kyurem that was shiny with 31 IVs in every stat except attack and a timid nature. Because if I ever ended up fighting competitively and I ended up using Kyurem for some reason, I'd have a good one. And the shiniest in this is just for added bonus. And for those of you who don't know, RNG is Random Number Generator. And basically, there's a program you can download called the Pokemon Reporter. I think this is all developed on Smogon. Um, the Pokemon Repo Reporter only works on like Windows and I think Linux. And basically, what if it's not a Mac, it should work. But four critical hits, yay! If you have a Mac, they do have an alternate program. Although I forgot what it's called. But yeah, you can go look it up and get it if you want. But basically, this program. If once you learn how to use it, it basically tells you exactly when you need to start your game. Actually, I'm not going to switch. And exactly what to do in order to get the exact Pokemon you're looking for, or at least in the exact way. And through a whole bunch, and through days of trial and error, surprisingly not that many days, but days, I finally got the key, the exact key room I just described to you. And for any curious people, the attack is uh, 22. The IV is so. In summary. I succeeded at that, so now I'm going to try to go for Thunderous, which I heard is the hardest to get, because the Roamer are the hardest ones to get correctly, so this will be an interesting attempt. And let's see, there was also something else I was going to talk about, but I suddenly forgot what it was. So now we get to fight the trainer we apparently met in Viridian Forest. The funny thing is, I think this trainer is here in Fire Red and Leaf Green, and he says the same thing. Only, I'm pretty sure he has a different name than every trainer you fight in, uh... The Viridian Forest, so... I can't believe my brain shut down for that long. So... Apparently, he changed his name in a day. I'm not really sure how that works. Everyone's just growing levels. I'm willing to bet it has something to do with the fact that I'm only using four Pokemon at the moment. And we're not getting a new member that's going to stay on the permanent team until the route above Cerulean City, so... We may be stuck with... You're going to be stuck with seeing these four for quite a while. And only two of these guys are permanent, too. 
And even then, I actually had a thought, and I'm considering changing the Pidgey line now sometime much in the future, but he's going to remain on my team for a long period. If I change him out, it's going to be like towards the very end of the game. Well, I shouldn't say the, towards the very end, but towards the end at least. More critical hits. I really want to know that critical hit point in the first generation. I know it has something to do with speed, but if you're getting it so much this early on in levels, then I want to see how that formula works. Because it's ridiculous. Oh, I don't remember if this was it. If it was, it was ap apparently... Oh, this is this guy. They're comfy and easy. I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. I need to remember to pay attention to these guys. I may end up skipping one I really want to say. Anyway. I did end up finding... Oh, yeah. So it took me a long time to find the Pikachu. But as you saw, I finally found one. And... During my training, as I was finishing up, I found two more. Of course, because... How was that not a critical? Because, um... The game likes to screw with you with that. It makes the Pokemon you're looking for really hard to find. And after you get it, it's like, oh... Here's plenty more, and I think I know why. It's because of those dang tail whips. Alright. Probably right now the most powerful Pokemon on my team. Critical Hits! I mean, I did not remember Critical Hits being so... What's the word? Prominent? I think that works. I don't remember them being so prominent in the first generation games, but apparently they're all over the place. Makes me wish I chose Bulbasaur, because Venusaur... When he becomes a Venusaur, Razor Leaf is an automatic critical hit. Every time. Beastly. Alright. Should have time for one more battle. Um. I'll go ahead and not heal the guys. I think I can survive. I got four guys. And potions. I'll be fine. Are you a trainer? Let's fight! There's more thunder in the air. It's been rather cloudy and stormy around here for like the past week. Complete contrast to when I first came home for the summer where like three weeks went by and there was nothing but sun. Now it's nothing but clouds and the occasional storm. Oh well, it's a lot better than the inconsistency of my school where the weather changes practically every other day. But, yeah. So we got another bug catcher here, so I'm just gonna try to stall me out. But, oh well. <sighs> yes, the ever hardening metapods and cocoonas. He's probably got a metapod, I wouldn't be surprised. There's four Pokemon. I have a good guess on what they are. I already saw Weedle and Kakuna. Is next gonna be Caterpie and Metapod? Well, here's Caterpie. That's a good chance. Oh, now I remember. Okay, so I got a message as I was uploading the fifth part yesterday. Um, that. My account is now enabled to upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes. I was actually very surprised to notice that, or to get that. I didn't at all expect to get that permission, but hooray. Apparently you get it if you keep your account, if you upload videos on occasion, and they stay within the copyright, and are... Yeah, basically those two things, and you've had your account for a long time, 
then eventually they'll just say, okay, you can upload videos as long as you want. Although I apparently still have a 2 gigabyte file size limit, but what, what am I going to upload that's that big anyway? i played computer games that are not as big. I think this entire... I think this entire game is less than 2 gigabytes, so like, what am I going to upload that's that freaking long? So, I'm going to go ahead and head back, heal, and then end it off. Well, I'll end it off here, and then heal off screen. And then we'll continue on the quest in the next part. So, I will see you all then.